The community of Moscow, Idaho, experienced a measure of relief on Friday amid the news that Ryan Koberger, 28 years old, was arrested and charged in the homicides of Ethan, Zana, Kaylee, and Maddie. This is Reporter Room with Jessica Della Davies. We need to talk about the Idaho 4 case. Today, we're going to talk about a wound collector, narcissistic personality trait. Is this what Brian is? And we're also going to talk about five things that you don't know about Brian yet. Let's get started. So was Brian a type of wound collector? Hear me out. So what a wound collector does is it is a type of personality because none of us are perfect. We all go through life and we do accidentally hurt each other's feelings. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's accidental, but these type of personalities, they never forgive, they never forget. They might stop talking about it for a little bit, but they will revive. They will bring that same topic up the next day because there can never be closure with this type of personality. They are hypersensitive to slights, even if they're not intentional, even if they're not real. I bet you know somebody like this in your life. They mistake good intentions for bad, and there is no leniency in their world for honest mistakes. And who among us has not made an honest mistake? We all do. For a wound collector, there is no fixing things. There is only this collection of real or perceived slights. Therefore, there can be no forgiveness or moving forward on their part. Their wounds do not heal. Months or even years after an event or a social slight, they will bring this back up, sometimes out of the blue, to justify their anger at you. So you will never have closure with this type of personality. You just have to let that go and sometimes let them go. Can this type of personality cross the line from just being angry into doing something like what happened at 1122 King Road? I'm watching my words here. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'm going to share with you five things you don't know about Brian yet in just a moment. So please stay with me. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get started. Everything I'm sharing with you today is my opinion and opinions are not facts. So please don't send any negativity to anyone anytime. Let's be kind and good to each other. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. So I know you were here. Here are five things you want to know about Brian Kohlberger. His favorite quote was a line from Aristotle. It was, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Two, he had obsessive compulsive disorder with a focus on bizarre dietary restrictions. Three, he studied psychology at Pennsylvania Community College, and he was focused on researching the quote, emotions and psychological traits of criminals while in graduate school. Four, he worked in security for the Pennsylvania School District. Let that sink in. Five, he was a student investigator for a survey that explored people's actions, thoughts, and feelings when they committed crimes. One of the questions in the study was, quote, why did you choose that victim or target over others? And another question said, quote, after committing the crime, what were you thinking or feeling? Was Brian trying to figure out how normal people without psychological problems thought or felt about committing crimes. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.